Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. Psalm 27 Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and He shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. God has His own timing in everything, and often He times the answer to our prayers to accomplishing His purpose. Years ago, we were flying back from a mission trip to Romania, and just as we were approaching JFK Airport, the pilot announced a delay in landing. I don't remember the reason, but I remember circling and circling in a holding pattern. We could see the lights of New York, some of the landmarks, out the window as we circled. We had a connection for our flight home, and we were getting a little anxious as we circled. We finally did land, and we made our connecting flight. I see a move of God beginning, but it has felt like we've been circling in some kind of holding pattern. At the same time, I feel a new excitement and I'm anxious to see all that will happen in this new move of God. Habakkuk 2, for the vision is yet for the, an appointed time, but at the end it will speak, it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. That verse is speaking to me in the middle of all this chaos and confusion right now. Psalm 37, wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, you shall see it. Let's pray. Father, we know that all things work together for good to those who love you, to those who are the called according to your purpose. And we know that you do all things well. Forgive, forgive us if we've been a little anxious for everything to begin. The promised outpouring of Holy Spirit, the promised harvest of people coming to Jesus as Lord and Savior for this time, the promised signs and wonders confirming your word, healings and miracles. We can see the beginnings of what you've been doing in the spiritual realm and some in the natural realm. And so we pray, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth, in your ecclesia, in America, as it is in heaven. In the name of our soon coming King, Jesus Christ, amen.